Generation specialty company known as Wavetech certainly made a big wave when they launched their brand new line of amplifiers just about a year and a half ago. Well, 18 months later, they're back at it again with a brand new addition to their lineup. It's a five channel amplifier, exactly what you ordered. We go now to their chief technical officer, Jason Kemmer, standing by to talk to us about the new five channel amplifier from Wavetech. Now, obviously, Jason, you've had great success with these amplifiers. They've got so many features built in. We're certainly going to take the time to discuss some of them. But talk to us a little bit about why it was so important to come out with this five channel version. Great to be with you again, Ben. Uh, yeah, the reason for the five channel, I mean, five channels have been a, a staple of the market for a long, long time. But in order to get the, the lineup correct, we we chose to do the the separate standalone amplifiers first. So what we what we are trying to do and what we did accomplish was merging our two more powerful or our more powerful four channel along with our 500 watt mono together in a smaller package that has all of the features that that those amplifiers do separately and then some um in, including ability to integrate and a really really flexible crossover section all right so of course we're talking about the new wavetech five channel amplifier let's get the power ratings out of the way because that's what people want to know on paper, Jay, it says something pretty impressive. This is a thousand watt capable amplifier. I want you to kind of break out the specs for everybody. Sure thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's rated at 125 by four and 500 by one at at two ohm, and then at four ohm, it's uh, 75 by four and 300 by one. However, um, as with all of our amplifiers, it's well underrated. Uh, even though it's a thousand watt amplifier, it does well over 1100 watts. So we're talking in the, the main four channels at two ohm, it's actually doing more like 150 by four and in the sub channel, you know, about 550 or so. So um, all combined, it's it's doing it's doing over 1100 watts. And same thing goes in, in four ohm, which is gonna be the more typical application for the main channels. It, you know, it's rated at 75 by four, but it actually does about 90. Um, so that's good, you know, serious power headroom there. And then the sub channel is doing well over three, 350 at, at four ohm, but in most cases, the sub-channel is going to be used at, at two ohm. Well, my first impressions of these power ratings are certainly very positive. You know, there are a lot of five channels in the market, but it's nice to see that when you came up with one, it's got one with a little bit of gusto. I can already envision a, a couple higher end builds that may incorporate two of these five channels. Okay, more on that later. Uh, now, Jay, obviously you have one to show, so let's take a look at the footprint and let's get right into some of the features, starting with some of the integration features, and then we'll move on to some of the other stuff when it comes to setting up your system. So again, let's take a look at the new five channel app from Wavetech. Let's talk about how we can get this thing in just just about any vehicle. So yeah, the footprint is really small. It's actually about 30% smaller than the two separate amplifiers, the 500.4 and the 500.1, which just has equivalent power of. Uh, it's just a one inch, one inch wider than the mini series. So this we call the plus series because it's just it's just slightly bigger. And that was to accommodate all the all the inputs we we have here. So there, it's actually a six channel uh, summing processor uh, built in for OEM integration and also RCAs, of course. So that means it can take, uh, it has four different ranges. It has uh, 5 volt, 10 volt, 20 volt, and 40 volt. So to accommodate all the way up to 40 volt factory voltages, all selectable from the switches here on top. Um, it also has built in adaptive loading which on the speaker level inputs, which means uh, no external loading is necessary for any of the modern vehicles that have factory load detect systems. Well, Jay, I can tell you for installers who are listening to this, I mean, this is amazing, the type of features that are built into a five-channel amplifier, especially that the type of power. But now you're talking about some really interesting and important OEM features. Love the fact that it can take up to a 40 volt and the fact that the load res resistors are adaptive. I mean, this is like a, a Swiss Army knife for any type of vehicle. Let's, let's take this conversation a little bit further. So now you've got the signal. What other features are built into this five-channel that will really help with its performance? Yeah, so other really important features, and, and this has quite a lot in it, but uh, a couple of the main ones would be the stop start ready. It's actually capable of uh, operating all the way down to seven volts and even a little bit below. So that means for those vehicles that have fairly weak electrical systems where you get that huge voltage drop every time the engine cranks, um, these won't power cycle on you. So your, your sound will, will keep playing. And similarly, uh, this has also uh, active thermal management built into it. Very, very few amplifiers have this. It actually rolls back the power uh, if it gets really hot. Um, so it's not going to happen very often, but it's, it's a really minor reduction. Just allows it to keep on playing without shutting down. All right, so now that we can see, obviously this is one of those amplifiers that could literally be a solution in any type of vehicle that, that you want to put this in. Let's talk about some of the tuning features because I uh, don't think I didn't notice all those little switches and knobs on the top. 
Yeah, so there's actually quite a lot of features on here. Uh, some of them have to do with the integration stuff that we've already talked about. So we have the input channel select, which is what controls that up to three-way factory summing. So you can you can do direct, you can do sum um, on all, all six channels. And a combination of those you can copy from other channels. So depending on if you have a two-channel source, four-channel source, and, and so on. Then there's the input range that uh, handles those four different input ranges that, that I talked about. So RCA is 5 volt and 10 volt and uh, speaker level is uh, 20 volt and 40 volt ranges. But then the rest, we get into some really amazing tuning features. I, I, I think there's probably more tuning, analog tuning features here uh, than any amplifier that's that's been done really. Um, so it gives you full flexibility, not just a, a normal high pass, low pass that you'd see on a lot of amplifiers, but it's actually full band pass capability on, on channel three, four. So you can do an active front uh, two way. Not only that, but instead of having the crossover the same point between your your tweeters and your in your mid upper roll off that's always been done before, we actually have an independent um, low pass on the on the mid range driver or on the channel three four. So you can actually overlap and underlap, which is what you really are going to want to do in a real acoustic environment to get that seamless integration between the the separate drivers in different locations. Now on the subwoofer side, this has our full Bass Freak processor in it. So this is the same process that's built into all of our monos. It's a full parametric EQ, so totally adjustable width, frequency, and, and boost, uh, combined with a 24 dB per octave subsonic and a 24 dB per octave low pass filter. So that gives you ultimate control over your subwoofer channel, really lets you not only tune the vehicle, but get the absolute best performance out of any subwoofer. Jay, you weren't kidding when you said this may just be the amplifier on the market uh, five channel that has the most adjustability. I'm going to give you one more opportunity because I think there's a feature that the people need to know about that really takes this amplifier to the next level. Yeah, for something that's that's never been done before, and this actually came about from our experience with the LOC and line drivers, is that now that we've built an amplifier around that preamp stage due to you know the ability to sum, after you get that sum frequency response, you also need the ability to adjust the output of the amplifier, whether you want, you know, front stage, rear fill, or you want the subwoofer channel louder, you know, most cases. And, and so in this case, so we actually have a feature called uh, level trim, which is basically a secondary gain or it's a level trim and it gives you the ability to turn it up or turn it down uh, versus the other channels. So even if you only have a two channel input, you can still adjust the output levels as you need it um, with the level trims on, on each pair of channels. So there you have it, the brand new five channel Link 100.5 Plus coming to you from WaveTech. Only one question left for you, Jason. What is the price of this amplifier and when can dealers get their hands on it? Yeah, Ben, it's uh, it retails for a really reasonable uh, $599 and it's been shipping uh, for a couple months now. So it's available at your at your authorized WaveTech dealers and um, go to our website and check it out. There's there's a lot of detail and uh, system examples of how you can use this amplifier with all its flexible features at wavetech-usa.com.